An important feature of the ultralight system is that the headsets are field programmable. This means that you can add a headset to your system at any time, even while on location. This video will explain the simple two-step process of adding an EarTech ultralight headset to your system. Step 1. Clearing the master. When programming a replacement headset, the master unit first needs to be cleared before the remote unit can be linked to it. All system headsets should begin off. Turn on the master unit. The blue LED will flash five times and then go out. Remove the protective sticker covering the blue button on the master. Press and hold this programming button for five seconds until the LED begins flashing blue. Now press this programming button seven times. The LED will begin a rapid flashing for approximately 10 seconds and then go out. You've now cleared the master, meaning that no headsets are linked to it. You're ready to program your new headset. You will also have to relink your existing headsets. Step 2. Linking a remote. Begin with the headset off. Turn on the remote unit. The blue LED will begin to flash. On the master headset, press and hold the programming button for 5 seconds until the LED begins flashing blue. On the remote headset, press the volume down arrow 3 times and then press and hold volume up. The LED should turn solid. Release the button. The two headsets, master and remote LED, will both turn solid when they're linked. This can take anywhere from 5 to 30 seconds. Once they are linked, turn the remote headset off and set it aside to link up the next remote headset. Remember, each master headset can support up to three remote headsets. If you prefer a larger system, visit eartech.com and view the hub, eartech's expanded version of the ultralight system.